Recently you worked in England and uh, on the tour was Yokozuna. Not, you were you teaming with him at the time? Yeah, every night, yeah. All right. What is your take on the situation? He just passed away, I guess it was two weeks ago. Yeah, that is really sad. You know, I, I, I never really knew Yoko. I did a couple of uh, independent shows out in California and he lives in Vegas. And I, and I know Sammy, the Samoan out there. I knew him real well, so he introduced me to Yoko, and he was really a nice fella that that I got to meet out there. But when we went on this tour, I really got to know him because I was around him 24/7, and uh, we were in the bus together and did all the matches together. And it was his idea for me to be his partner in the tag teams, and it kind of helped him out too. You know, I go out and sell for him. He'd come in and do the big leg drop, and and people loved us mainly him you know and um my take on that was that uh they did an autopsy and said he didn't have a heart attack or nothing was wrong with his brain so i don't know what the official autopsy was but um i think that uh, that because we wrestled 26 days and 28 days that he just wasn't used to it and neither was my, myself, but I was, you know, I, I don't weigh 500 pounds. Right. Um, I think they overworked him, but what a beautiful person. You know, he, he was just a really, a, when I heard that he died, I just really broke up for a couple of days. I was devastated and I was supposed to stay another week. And, and I just told him I really need to get home because my father wasn't doing that well either. And kind of hit home, close to home. so. Well, he was one of the nicest fellas, biggest heart, and he'd do anything. If he just met you guys, hey, take you out for dinner. Right. Just a gem of a person. And most of the Simone guys are like that, but this guy, because I've met a lot of them in the past, you know, they're nice fellas, but this guy was a gem of a person.